<laughs> they will be presenting my paper titled by Arkanai, character based retail language model for Arabic language understanding, proposed by me, Abdelak Sebri, and my co authors, Ali Al Khatran, Dr. Ali Al Khatran, and Dr. Ahmed Abdrali. We will go through a gentle introduction about the topic, then the problem we address, and the question we want to answer. Next, motivational picture, then existing work and literature review, followed by methodology, that's it, then experiment ending with result and findings. All right, let's get started. Natural language processing is a subfield of computer science, particularly artificial intelligence, that deals with natural language. The field has been widely adopted and met with great success in many applications, such as machine translation and text generation. Natural language model has multiple scales to process language. First, clean data, then tokenization and world embedding. Tokenization is where splitting a sentence into smaller units called tokens. Some widely used tokenization types is word tokenization, the word tokenization and character tokenization. And word embedding is a way to represent a word into a numerical representation as a vector. One of the examples is word perfect and blob. In 2013, your network helped in shaping the future of NLP. After that, the current neural network come back to make previous outputs current neural network image. A major issue in RNN is managing grade. So long short term memory was used in language models to overcome vanishing grade. In, in, 20, in 2017, transformer has emerged and everything mm -hmm. changed in NLP form, which is based on encoder and decoder architecture. Transformer achieved state of the art results in NLP test, and most of the day NLP model architecture are built on transformer architecture. The transformer consists of encoder, decoder, deletion embeddings, and self attention. One of the application of transformer widely used is BERT, which stands for bidirectional encoder representation from transformer proposed in 2018. And it only use the encoder part of the transformer architecture and use word based support organization. In addition to that, Arabic researchers developed NLP language model based on their architecture. One of the examples is Arabic and Arabic, which trained on Arabic data set. However, Lately, free tokenization approach gaining more attention in this field. Free tokenization or character based language models have gained popularity recently due to their potential results for a number of tasks. The main idea of free tokenization is to operate on a raw character without any explicit tokenization. For example, one of these models is canine, card former, and character. Some studies shown character level Arabic language model is expected to perform comparably to support models. Now, we will talk about the problem we have. Existing NLP capabilities are limited by their tokenization methods and vocabulary. Currently, the most used state of the art models use support tokenization algorithm, but has some disadvantages. First, support algorithm divide tokens into support based on frequency, which result fragile models to unusual and rare works. Second, is the model robustness to minor typos and adversarial attacks. In addition to that, those algorithms limit the ability of the model to generalize to on unseen data. Lastly, to the best of our knowledge, there is no study done to compare the performance of free tokenization and support tokenization models on Arabic language. Based on the previous thesis problem, and the theory claimed that character level models work better on morphologically rich language, 
this work address the film research project. First, what the extent of comparability in the performance between character-based language models and work-based language models for enhancing Arabic understanding? How do character-based language models generalize to new text types compared to their performance on familiar text types? It's critical for existing NLP model to perform well in Arabic text due to, the, due to the complexity and diversity of the Arabic language. Also, Arabic is an important language spoken by approximately 375 million persons. Additionally, some limitation of support organization approach regarding the typos and specialized domains. Finally, lack of comparative study concrete organization models versus traditional organization approach within the context of Arabic language. Those were the motivation of this research to build Arabic read organization model and compare it with the board approaches. The objective of this research is to compare how read organization models very far against the board organization models in Arabic language. Also, how with free organization models will perform on dialectics and variety of Arabic language? Finally, to help Arabic NLP community and make our language model publicly available. Support organization models. This will lead us to answer the question of how do Arabic of how do Arabic free organization models perform against Arabic support organization model? Also, making pre training and fine tuning models available for Arabic and B community, we will enable the public replication of our experiment. Now we are ready to deep dive overview into the uh, topic. We want to explore the literature review and existing work. So pre-processing in NLP involves many steps to ensure the quality of model input text. One of the key concepts in pre-processing is tokenization, which is splitting symbols into smaller into smaller units. As we mentioned previously, there is a common approach to tokenization. One of them is word tokenization. Word tokenization is the process of splitting symptoms into words. And one of the examples of word tokenization is word to technique. In this figure, we can see how the word tokenization function. The word tokenization has some limitation. One of the reasons of using some word tokenization is to mitigate the out of vocabulary issue where the model exposed to unseen data. Researchers proposed byte pair encoding, which is support organization technique. The main idea of byte pair encoding is to replace the most frequent pair of bytes with a single unused byte. In this figure, we can see how support organization works. Finally, character organization or, or read organization model show promising results in NLP nowadays. The main idea of character-based recognition is the model doesn't need any explicit documentation. The input is a raw text converted into a character. Each token consists of single character, which represents a small size vocabulary. As simple as the uh, figure, each character is a token. So transformer make a huge impact in shaping the present of NLP field. Transformer, um, Transformer emerged in 2017. And today, most of language models are built on top of Transformer architecture and achieve the state of the art result in NLP task. The component of Transformer is encoder, decoder, positional embeddings, and self attention. BERT, which is pre trained model, stand for bidirectional encoder representation from Transformer which proposed in 2018, which is the stack of encoder of transformer, and it achieved a state-of-the-art result in general language understanding evaluation benchmark. 
Um, in recent years, there has been surge of interest in character-based language models. These models have shown promising performance in variety of tasks such as machine translation and question answers. The success of these models is mainly due to their ability in catching character morphological information. In 2020, Carbert was proposed, which is a character aware pre trained language model, enhanced existing model. It combined character representation and support representation using a novel heterogeneous interaction module. It was evaluated on eight benchmarks and outperformed Baird and Robert a baseline. Moreover, in the study mentioned in this page, character Baird model, which is based on Baird with excluding word based system. And if it, it used character TNN, which produced word level contextual representation by consulting character. The character Baird, the character Baird model was evaluated on multiple specialized medical tasks, where the model outperformed Baird without the word piece for capitals. Additionally, they proved that general domain word piece vocabulary are not suitable for specialized domain application. One of the most important studies in this field was produced by Google, which is Tana. Tana was proposed in 2021 as the first pre organization of EV encoder which is an encoder for large language with a deep transformer stack. The input of the model is a sequence of Unicode characters. A model that will report no tokenization on the input, avoid the loose information bottleneck associated with the pre-processing phase. Mm -hmm. Additionally, a recent study conducted also by Google in 2021 introduced a gradient phase of work tokenization modules that automatically learn the word representation from character. Additionally, they propose Carformer, which is a transformer-based model with an integrated PBSD layer. There are some studies that use some of the previous character-based models. In the first study, they use character pairs and compare it with sub models with low resource language. Also, another study used the same model, character based on toxic band detection. The third one, the study used car former model in toxic content classification. In this slide, there is the sum of available Arabic language models and their synchronization methods. As you see, Arabic, 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 Arabic. Camembert, Faber, and Jabber. All of these models are based on subword tokenization, either sentence piece or word piece. So the, the methodology, the proposed methodology, this research is to enhance Arabic language understanding by creating and implementing a data tokenization three trained model. The framework has six phases. We start with that selection, then pre-processing, then we try to search the best model architecture that is available and it is available. Also, it's easy to be replicable. Following is the pre-training phase, then fine-tuning, finally, the evaluation on ALO benchmark, Arabic language understanding, Arabic language understanding evaluation. In this research, due to the limitation of computational power, we train our model using direct Arabic data set, and we will discover the data set more in depth in the next slide. Arabic language has unique challenges like tashkil and taqweed, so we will utilize Arabic process for cleansing process to ensure the quality of the data and the data is standardized ensure, to ensure the model effective. We will remove emojis, tashkil, and taqweed replace your URLs, email address, and user mention with a standardized 
placeholder. And also remove HTML line breakup and markup. So the, the model architecture, we decide to use canine model, one of the most, one of the model we mentioned in the related work due to the availability of the model and easy to replicate it. Canine is stands for character architecture with no tokenization in neural encoder, which is large encoder with deep transformer tech. The model apply no tokenization on the input. The model has three, three main techniques or layer. Encode down sampling, encoder stack, and up sample. The down sampling strategy in Canine involves character encoding using a single layer local attention transformer, which perform self attention followed by a strided convolutional layer to down sample the sequence. Reducing the number of sequences to align with a word based model. This process produces a downtime re representation with dimension that facilitates integration with existing models like Earth. After the downtime being done, this layer we will go to the encoder, which is contain 12 encoder stack transformer layer. As the sequence to sequence model needs the input match the output, it, it applied up sampling layer to match the input size. In a model pre training, which is represent a core case, we will train the model on 40 gigabytes of text, of dialect text of, from Twitter. The model will be trained on math language modeling and next sentence prediction. This process takes a long time, maybe months or weeks, depending on the uh, computational resource. The checkpoints of the model and the GitHub, you can find it in hugging face. So you can use it. In the fine tuning phase, we will teach the model how to perform on a specific task to play building. The model will learn NLP tasks separately after understanding the language in the pre training phase. We will fine tune our pre trained model with labeled data from Arabic language understanding evaluation benchmark. This step is the final phase of the proposed framework. In this step, the performance of the fine tuned model will be evaluated. Using the different data sets included in ALU, which is a set of data sets for multitask learning that contains eight tasks. Each task has different data sets and different evaluation. We will evaluate our model in each task separately. So, this is this table shown the list of ALU benchmark tasks and some information regarding each task. ALU is a set data set for multitask learning that contains a task. We can see each task, each task is a single sentence classification with two labels or more than two labels or sentence pair classification with two or three labels. Also the text type, it's dialect or modern standard Arabic and the that is the size. <clears throat> okay, so we will go through the data set. The popularity of social media platform has witnessed significant growth, filled by increased entrance access in today's landscape. The surge in social media usage has validated the importance of social media data for any sense it's a platform formerly known as a student. So researcher in Arabic NLP thought and used this platform as a mean to construct valuable resource, such as Arabic online 
كومنتري ديد ليفت اند ارب تويت اند كاضي توتر دو تو ذا افيليبيلتي اوف ذيس ريسورس وي سيلكتد كاضي ديد ليفت which is comprehensive Arabic tweets collected in 2018 contains 5,400,000 tweets. The data contains 540,000 tweets and approximately 120 gigabytes collected across 18 different country from 2,500 users and from 18 countries. Due to the computational constraints, we trained the model using only 40 gigabytes out of the available data sets. So an experiment, we utilize some tools and some technology for so our intense experiments rely on multiple technologies and so all experiments are based on or being done on Aziz supercomputer from King Abdul Aziz University. We use Python language and Python deep learning framework. We also use and utilize hugging face library and for parallelization we use deep to train on multiple GPUs. During the retraining, we use 40 gigabytes of Arabic dialect to train our model in two main tasks, best language modeling and sentence prediction. For Mask language modeling, we randomly mask 15% of character spans, considering spans of size 2. This helps the model understand the language context rather than single character. So, in the pre training setup, we pre train our model for 40 epochs in total of 610 and 10,000 optimization steps with batch size 32 which batch with batch size 32 and gradient accumulation step of eight which result 2065 batch size for each TPU. We use Adam optimizer and we save learning rate of 0 0.0001 and 2.5 percent steps as a warm-up. We train our model in three A hundred GPUs provided by, by KAU King Abdul Aziz University Supercomputing Center for approximately twenty five days. So the fine tuning process, which is the process of fine tuning a pre trained model on a specific task to adapt. We leverage pre trained Arakanai checkpoint to fine tune it on a low benchmark task. During fine tuning, we systematically explore the impact of hyperparameters, experimenting with the drop out range from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 and best size from 8 to 64. Finally, we thoroughly evaluate the performance of the fine tuned model on a low benchmark, which is Arabic language understanding. Evaluation benchmark and assessing metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 core depends on the task. Mm -hmm. During Arakanine pre training, 40 gigabytes of data was used to match available RAM capacity. Limited GPU posed a sub potential of a skill. So we, we do a re-evaluation, the training approach and using deep speed, and it was crucial in overcoming GPU limitations and optimizing memory usage. 
So in evaluation, to evaluate our model, we conduct a comprehensive evaluation of ARA-K9 using the Arabic language understanding evaluation benchmark with existing Arabic language model. The ALO benchmark is widely recognized as standard in the field, consisting of eight diverse tasks. These tasks include both one and multi-level classification challenges, as well as a single expression task, offering a robust test of Arabic canines capability in handling a complexity of the Arabic language. This table represents a comparison of Arabic canine with other Arabic language models, as Arabic, Bear, Arabic, Camel Bear, Arabic, Marbek. Regarding the number of parameters, the vocabulary size, recognizer type, and data size, and number of events. Just to note that all of the existing Arabic language model is a support organization model. So it was crucial to ensure fair evaluation. So we compared our canine performance with two other models that were trained on the data set of similar types. Araka 9 demonstrates superior performance in tasks involving dialect text types because of its training that's it. As you see in the table, in this table, this is the uh, the, ta the eight tasks of Alu benchmark. This Arabic model and Arabic Arbert model, and this is our proposed model, ARA Kanai. In some tasks, ARA Kanai outperformed the two models, and in some tasks, like this task, it's comparably, the result was comparably to other models, and in some tasks that have different text type, which is Modern standard, sorry. modern standard Arabic like MQQQ and XNLI, the Arakanai perform worse. And this leads us to the research question. The two re research question. I will go back to it after we finish this uh, presentation. So, Arakanine is comparable, the result was comparable to existing Arabic model. That's the first question. And the second question, Arakanine perform bad on general and unseen text type. Also, this is the results compared to the existing also Arabic model that trained on more big or more the uh, data more big than uh, Arabic nine, like Arab bear uh, and Mar bear. And Marbet, the data set was 115 gigabytes. And Arakanine outperformed for Marbet with, with 0.5. And uh, uh, with 0 0.5, with, with just only 1 to 3 uh, percentage of the Sorry, thirty percentage of the day. So we systematically experiment various batch size and dropout rates to observe their effect on model outcomes across the data. This table represents a comprehensive view of these experiments, showcasing how each combination of fiber parameters impacted the accuracy of the model. The key finding of this research is Arakanine excels in processing various Arabic dialects, especially in involving Twitter data. 
showcasing its potential or understanding Arabic. The stud this study demonstrates our canine efficiency achieving comparable results to model trained on larger data sets, validating the effectiveness of free organization for handling Arabic language complexity. Additionally, the research of an opportunity for develop, developing resource efficient model for other low resource language based on the findings with Arakana. The oral contribution, as we say, answers the question of how Arabic free organization model performs against support organization model. Now, how free organization can generalize or uh, be performed on various Arabic language models. The third contribution is making the brief training and fine tuning models available to the Arabic in a B community on Hugging Face and GitHub. So this paper presents and science in Arabic language processing with the development of Arakanine model. Adopting a free tokenization approach, Arakanine demonstrate innovation in handling the complexity of Arabic dialect. Our findings show that Arakanine competes favorably with existing support tokenization models and excel in certain linguistic tasks, highlighting its robust. This research contributes perspective to Arabic NLP community and opens avenue for future exploration in the free organization language. At this limitation, there is some obstacle in this research, there is some obstacles and limitation. First, the difficulty of find well clean data sets that cover all Arabic dialects. Also, from the computational resource for the pre training was the biggest limitation in this research. The time it takes to train the model could be better if we have an addition GPUs for pre training phase. It's difficult to find available experience and code, and if any, it takes extra implementation effort to make it suitable for Arabic. The Arakanine model presents promising capabilities in Arabic language processing, indicating a venue for future exploration. Enhancing the model's training dataset by interpreting diverse Arabic text sources beyond social media, including news, articles, and academic text, will potentially enhance the model's performance on understanding MSA or Modern Standard Arabic. Experimentation with varied neural network architecture and the training methodologies present is an opportunity for optimizing the model efficiency in language in language models and processing that. This is the reference and thank you. That was my presentation. If there is any question, I will be happy to answer. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Abdullah. Uh, it was a good presentation. I'd like to know if any questions from forum. Okay. I'm all ears. Yeah, uh, let me just check. Like, if any questions are there from forum? Uh, yes. So I think uh, there are no more questions. So once again, thank you for your presentation, Abdullah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your host. Thank you. Thank you. And now I would like to welcome the next author, Indranil Goshre from Queen's University, Belfast, UK, entitled on the construction of perfect keyword secure PEKS scheme. Indranil Goshre, are you there? Yeah. yeah. Am I audible? Can you yeah, you're audible and you can share your screen and go ahead with your presentation. Yeah, just give me a second when it comes to sharing the screen. I am yep. struggling to get the control. But yeah, share screen. Yeah. Okay. 
hopefully it yeah. is right now visible yeah it's visible and you can go ahead with your presentation doctor thanks thank you so hello everybody i'm dr indranil ghoshwa i'm a lecturer or equivalently assistant professor in queen's university belfast and in this talk i'll talk about uh, one protocol design which is uh, on the p case p case is the public key encryption scheme with search so in this protocol there are three players one is the data owner one is the cloud server or the server and one is the user so what happens is the following data owner has its data data owner will encrypt the data and upload it in the cloud for uh, uh, for the security of the data he will encrypt the data but with the traditional encryption if you upload the data encrypted then you lose the usability of the data in a sense that you cannot search on a data so uh, it is a searchable encryption where data owner can delegate the facility of searching over the data to the third party and this third party is the user so uh, the first uh, such uh, pk scheme was proposed in eurocrypt uh, 2004 by dan bonney and its uh, his team the main problem with the scheme is that it is it suffers from the linkability problem i'll come to this and to overcome that problem a paper was published in elsevier uh, 2017 uh, and the scheme uh, was called psekas and they achieved partial uh, unlinkability uh, so as to improve the security partially a little bit and what we achieved in this paper is a full uh, unlinkability in terms of the user key indistinguishability and server key indistinguishability i'll come to all those uh, definitions so uh, the major contribution is the introduction of these two concepts uki and ski security and uh, we provide the formal proof uh, uh, followed by the definition and finally we implement uh, uh, as a proof of concept our scheme and we validate it against uh, one uh, team data which is a academic data set uh so now let me explain uh, all those security one by one so in the p case of the bony uh, the scheme of bony what happens is the following the public key encryption scheme means the encryption key is a public key so the encryption facility is available to the rest of the world a anybody and everybody can come and get their data encrypted so the problem with that facility is the following let's say uh, i am the data owner i am uploading my data by encrypting my data using my key in the third party cloud and an adversary can also come and get adversarial data encrypted with my public key which is a public key that's why he can access so encryption is a publicly available facility so anybody can get that data encrypted and upload in the same cloud the problem is the following in the future whoever will be searching using a secure trapdoor mechanism the same search will propagate over the adversarial data and if there is a match in the in the adversarial data adversary can guess the search pattern so that is called uh, the uki security where the uh, where the secrecy of the user search is getting revealed to the adversary and quite similar to that is ski security where the same piece of data from the same data i mean same data owner if it is getting uh, saved in two different servers the search pattern using the two different servers can be linked so as to reveal whether two servers are uh, i mean saving the data from the same source or not that is the server key uh, uh, indistinguishability so now i'll uh, very precisely talk about uh, the construction uh, of the scheme so first the setup this text lambda as the security parameter which is in our case 
was uh, uh, was a parameter of the length of two zero uh, uh, one zero two four bit, and it will deliver uh, uh, the following components: two group elements G and G one. P is the prime number, small g being the generator uh, uh, of the group, and E is the bilinear pairing, and H is the uh, mapping, which maps uh, any any text to the group element. Now, when it comes to the key generation, the main thing that we did, unlike the previous schemes, is that we identified these three players um, in the game. One is user, one is cloud, and one is the data owner. Cloud means the server. And for the user, that is uh, the third party who are going to search, we generated uh, a pair of keys, secret key and the public key, which is uh, coming in uh, in the color brown, uh, SKR and PKR. And uh, when it comes to the cloud, that is the cloud server, Cloud server is also having two keys. One is uh, SKC, one is PKC, which is coming uh, with the color of a cyan. And when it comes to the data owner, that is the uh, one who uh, owns the data, who will uh, encrypt and upload the data, we have three keys. One is the public key, which is the PKS. One is the secret key which is SKS and one is a special key which is made for uh, to facilitate the search which is the trapdoor key which is PKT and if you take a look of uh, if you if you take a closer look of these constructs you will see that this uh, secret key is nothing but a random number small b and the public key PKS is g power b so the secrecy, I mean, the uh, the main uh, power of the security is coming from the uh, Diffie-Hellman uh, 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 property of the group, where if I give you G power B and G is known to you, you cannot find out uh, the log of that element, which is the B. And the fourth point is very crucial, which is the sweetest part of the entire scheme. So now... If you take a look at this PKT, PKT is nothing but the PKC to the power SKS. Now, which gives you the simple uh, expression of G power BC. Now, if you uh, uh, compute the uh, SKCth root of PKT, so you get rid of this C part. So PKT raised to the power 1 by SKC is going to give you this G power B. This simple mathematical expression uh, uh, can be leveraged when it comes to uh, uh, the actual computation. Uh, we'll come to that. Now, when it comes to the trapdoor generation, what is trapdoor? Trapdoor is you have your encrypted data in the cloud. And when it comes to the search of the data, your search needs to be protected because uh, your search reveals your, I mean, your intent. So uh, you don't go and search directly uh, with your plain text search query. Search query needs to be protected. We, you convert your search query into the trap loop. So who is searching? Searching is done by the user whose keys are coming in brown. And where he is searching, he is searching in a cloud. That public key of the cloud is coming in the cyan. And what he is searching, he is searching a data encrypted by the data owner and the keys of those owners are coming in red so after after having these parameters what uh, trapdoor generation mechanism delivers is a two component output a and b where a is as you see in the screen this component and b is the second component this uh, a seemingly complex looking component uh, 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 will be having very nice property of uh, what is that called uh, a bilinear pairing this pairing is uh, famously denoted by this small e so this expression uh, will get a, a very, i mean a very i mean specific form uh, when we'll 
show you as to how this uh, trapdoor and the search works. So this is the trapdoor. So what happens is whosoever will be searching for a particular word, which is W, first he will convert this W to a group element. He will raise this element to the power SKR, where SKR is the secret key of that fellow who is searching. This R is a random group element, which randomly, uh, uh, uniformly at random, he will gather from the group. This is the public key of the uh, data owner, uh, which which is a public information, which he can pick at any point of time. So he can compute the first component. The only secret uh, that, I mean, part is this, which is his own secret. So he knows his secret. And the second component is this, where this PKT is a particular key, which is, uh, which is formed by the data owner. So if I go one slide back, so this PKT is generated by the data owner. So it is meant for public access and whosoever will be searching will be requesting the data owner and data owner can give it. So, so now the user has this key and the randomness what, or whatever he generated, he will plug that to component to compute the second component. Now, these two components together is the trapdoor. Now, when it comes to the encryption, what will happen is that encryption is done by the, by the data owner. So all he has is a data, which is the word W, and his key. One is the secret key, and one is the public key. So when it comes to the encryption, encryption again generates two components, C1 and C2. C1 is this. He will convert the word, the data, into a group element by this hashing. And the element he will raise to the power of the secret key multiplied by G. This small g is the generator of the group, which is publicly available, raised to the power some random R. And the second component is the public key raised to the power of the same I mean, random, which is R. And uh, for the encryption of that word W, he will set the encryption of the word W as C, which is C1 and C2, these two components. And he will uh, redirect this uh, encrypted uh, text, the cipher text to the server. Now, at certain point in the future, imagine that in the server, there are encryptions of several texts, which is of the form C1 and C2. So there are many blocks of C1, C2, C1, C2, and so on. And uh, one user is trying to search against a particular word. So first thing that that user will do is to compute this TW. The computation is just uh, explained. The user needs uh, the public key of the data owner, which is PKS, the public key of his own, which is the PKR, and also the secret key of the cloud server. So this key comes with a permission. So when whosoever is trying to search will give his search query to the server. If he is a registered member, then SKC will come in place. And server has the cipher text. And the trapdoor is uh, available from the search query because the search query is the trapdoor. It is not the plain text, it is a trapdoor. So the first thing will be to parse the ciphertext into these two components, C1 and C2, and to parse the trapdoor uh, into A and B. The public keys, uh, uh, I mean, uh, will be, uh, uh, I mean, will be gathered uh, from the system because these are the public uh, informations which are freely available in the system. And the secret key, as I've said, that will be uh, uh, will be in place provided the user is a registered user of that cloud. And what the cloud algorithm will do is simple. Cloud algorithm will check this equality. 
cloud algorithm will simply check whether the left hand side of this expression is same as the right hand side if yes then uh, it will say that there is a match such is positive otherwise it will say zero now let us take a look as to how this works so you see the uh, the ciphertext has two components uh, c1 c2 where c1 and c2 is uh, as we computed earlier uh, uh, i just plugged those values over here and tw the trap group uh, has also two components a and b where a and b i just copied from the previous slide over here so these are the uh, uh, expressions for a and b now if you remember this i will start by taking the left hand side of this expression so if I compute this left hand side, now I will replace this A, B and C2 by A from the top two lines. So it will be something like this. Now, if we take a if we take a closer look at this, this PKT by the property of this uh, bilinear pairing, PKT, uh, the, the component, which is this one, this component is same as PKT raised to the power 1 by SKC. Now allow me to go a couple of slides back. And as I have said that the most sweetest part is this one. So PKT raised to the power SKC, the simple looking expression. So you are dealing with your trap door key raised to the power 1 upon the cloud secret key is going to give you PKS, which is the server's pub, server's public key. Uh, sorry, the data owner's public key, because uh, this PKS is the data owner's key. This simple yet, uh, I mean, uh, uh, very subtle uh, transformation is what is utilized over here. Mm. Now this transformation is going to give you the rest of the computation though complicated but doable uh, is is just that if you if you simply add this line if you replace this by pks then the rest of the computation is easy and eventually you end up showing that these two components are equal provided uh, the intended word is the same word otherwise it it will not match. Now, the novelty, uh, if I say, is in uh, is in two folds. One is the SKI, and one is the um, UKI. So SKI, the server key indistinguishability, means that. Uh, so the game uh, here uh, uh, is going to give you uh, 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 is trying to simulate the same situation where there is one uh, one user whose key is the first line and there are two clouds there are two clouds which is one cloud is denoted by the c0 and another cloud is by c1 and these are generated and also uh, the the rest of the keys are also generated accordingly and now at certain point if uh, in the game out of those two servers one is chosen at random by this uh, i mean unbiased coin and according to the selection of the coin i picked one of those servers meaning from these two I have selected one of the servers. Now, after this selection, if I give it to the adversary, adversarial access to the trap door and the hash function is still there. They have the Oracle access of this too. But despite that, adversary will not be in a position to distinguish and correctly tell whether this D is actually picked uh, zero or one. So the advantage of this probability is negligible. So that is the uh, formal definition of SKI. Uh, 
the story that I just mentioned, uh, when put formally, looks like this. And something similar is uh, uh, UKI. In the UKI, what uh, we are doing is, um, if you take a look, I marked it red. So here there are two users. I mean, we have selected two users. We are playing the game by generating two users and one fixed cloud. In the last example, there were two clouds and one fixed user, but here there are two users and one fixed cloud. And in the um, seemingly complicated looking uh, game uh, structure, the same coin is flipped, unbiased coin, and out of those two uh, I mean, users, one is selected uniformly at random, and the um, trapdoor is given. And with the facility of Oracle access of the trapdoor and the hash function, and the adversary is not in a position to distinguish and pinpoint as to which of those two servers, uh, two users, uh, uh, was given. That is to say that the advantage uh, of this game is negligible. So that is the definition of EQI. We provided the full proof uh, uh, in the paper. And when it comes to the implementation, the major contribution is not in the implementation because so far, we don't see any other scheme with which we can compare in terms of uh, the timing performance. But the work is not yet uh, finished. We uh, we have a, a minimum viable product out of it, and uh, we are trying to integrate and uh, uh, I mean uh, apply this for uh, biggest uh, animal biobank data in Northern Ireland in UK. Uh, but so far we uh, applied that on a timid data set and uh, this is the performance graph roughly. So thank you. Thank you for your attention and uh...